Hello, and welcome to this video. What you're looking at is an instant XOR gate. It's actually a half adder because I added on those are repeaters, repeater, 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 and I added an AND gate onto this half adder. No, onto this XOR gate. So you have two levers on an XOR gate. So each lever goes to one side of an AND gate. And when both levers are flicked, the XOR gate turns off and the AND gate turns on. So that's what reflects over to the second bit. And the first bit turns off. Um, yeah, it's instant. Let's just show this now. Apparently they're both on, so that's on. But I have these doors here to kind of show it's instant. If I flip this lever, you can see that the two doors close and open at the same time. It's inver inverted, so I had to place the doors down a little bit strangely, but it's they're opening and closing at the same time. That's the important thing. And this one is right away just next to it, and then this one goes through all kinds of crazy mechanics into an instant thing. And instant. There you go. So now I've been flipping this lever here. I wouldn't really flip it like quick because that could break them things so just just flip it normal so we have one plus another one is two and if we go over here we have one oh one plus zero is one just turn them both off and it's zero and zero so that is an instant half adder it is much smaller than what you might think it is so we have a not get here because it's off on the input and on on the output. It's the same thing over here. It's just going the other way, I guess. So from this not gate, it goes over into an or gate. This here is an or gate because it just won't work right if you don't have an or gate. So you have to, and this is an or gate I've made up. So yeah, if that one or this one is on then the output will be on and always one of these is on because if you flip this nope nope I lied there I lied I lied I lied because watch if you flip this then it changes this now it's off so now it's off and then this goes into another not gate for the purpose of this only and double inverted and it actually I'm not sure I can't remember right there needs to be two not gates in there though. One, two. Okay, so that's right. And then on the other side, it does the exact same thing. From the lever, it goes over the not gate into an or gate and then back up into a not gate. And so that makes an XOR gate if you know what you're doing. Uh, most XOR gates would look like this, but this is not valid in real life because normally these would be connected. Wires just don't work like that in real life. They just don't. Kind of. Not really. Because you're either powering something or n you're not powering it. That's how it works in real life. So I looked up a real life XOR gate and it uses NAND gates. So this is an AND gate, XOR gate. And so if either one is on, yeah, it works, definitely. So there's the NAND gate. Oh, great. That's not what it looks like. So yeah, it's, um, if they're both off, it's, you can figure that out. So then I, I did have another one originally, but I've changed it because this was like a double negative, a double flip. There was a, a, torch there and like another torch here inverting uh, this torch so I just got rid of them because you don't really need them as long as this reaches you don't need them so that's an OR gate or an X OR gate and it's two ticks yes yeah, two ticks I think 
So then I tried simplifying down, that one down, and I've gotten smaller and smaller and smaller until I got to here. So I decided to go with this because it works pretty good. So we have one NOT gate, and then we have another NOT gate. But this other NOT gate also is controlled from this other lever, or lever. I didn't say lever because I'm American. Too much British people. Um, so that down there is the output. If you flip this, it turns off, but this over here keeps it on. So, if they're both on, um, yeah, it works. I figured it out, and it works. So, let's go over to an adder, a half adder, because that's what that is. So, we have an XOR gate here, and we have an AND gate. So, the levers both go into the XOR gate on each side, like normal, and they also go into the AND gate on each side. So we have an output of an AND gate. Don't mind any of this. This just makes it a little bit more of an adder. That goes into a full adder and another full adder. That's just adding. We're just dealing with a half adder, which is in the ones place. So how does an XOR gate work? If they're both off, then the output is off. If they're both on, then the output is on off. So, and if either one of them's on, this one's on, the output's on, this one's on, the output's on but if they're both on, it turns off. So we can take advantage of that, both being on. So if they're both on, we go to this AND gate. And they, what's the properties of an AND gate? They both need to be on for the output to be on. Or, yeah, something like that. So this right here is actually the, um, the second bit, the, the second decimal, the second place, this one, and there's zero, zero, or one, one. So that's the second bit. So as you can tell, it's a 1 here and a 0 there because it's double, both are clicked. So now it's off because not both of them are on and all this stuff. That's just the logic. And so that's the half adder, I suppose. I might make it more. I might go like to a full adder and make it and make this thing do instant math, instant addition, I guess. Subtraction, possibly. I doubt it, though. Because if you see the full adder, it's just um, much more difficult. So here we go. We have the XOR gate. And this goes into one of the XOR gates. The output of one XOR gate goes into the input of another XOR gate. Which really starts to get a little bit difficult with what I'm doing over there. And we have this. It's just going to be really difficult to reach. It's, it's not really like... You have to plan it out really nicely for it to work out. Because if you change where one of these levers are down here, one of these two levers, it would mess up the whole thing. Because if this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so that's enough, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If that was just one block closer, it would touch, it would go here, 15, and then it would power this completely ruining the system. So the lever has to be at least right there. It doesn't matter how close it is to this one, but it has to be far away enough from this. It cannot power that or it'll ruin the whole thing. But it also has to go over here to the OR gate. And then from the OR gate it has to kind of connect again into another OR gate. This is an OR gate, so if this one's on then the output is it's the opposite, it's a NOT gate. It's really complicated, really complicated, I guess. And that's an OR gate. If either one of them are on, then the output is on. Yeah. So that is the instant XOR gate slash half adder. And it I had more of them, but they just never worked right, and I deleted them now. They were everywhere. There was a big giant one right there. There was a huge one way over there because I thought for sure I had it. So I wanted to make all the space. There was a really, really big one here. It was my first one. And But this smaller version here, it works really nicely. It's very good. And here's my sign. It's all specialed out. XOR slash XNOR. In order to make an XNOR gate, you just have to flip these so that the it's inverted. It's um, not gated. Like, how about we go over to this 
or gate slash nor gate. So right now it's a nor gate because it's off and the output is on. Nodded or gate because you have two inputs going. So if we flip that, there we go. Now it's out. Now it's off to off and flip one. It's there you go. It's on. Flip the other one's on. Flip off, off. So now if we flip this again, there we go. Changed. Now it's off, 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 and on. So that's just a knotted OR gate. You just flip the pistons, and that's how you make it. So all you do to this to get an X or X NOR gate would flip these two because they're both going into this. And yeah, that's about it. Well, these repeaters here, you need re instant repeaters to bring the signal way over here into this AND gate. This is an AND gate. I had to block off the signal because I was running out of space. Here's an AND gate. You have to have two NOT gates. Well, you can tell from a normal AND gate. So here's two NOT gates, ON to OFF and OFF to ON. You also have to watch out for this. So it's ON from here. It goes over and over and over. If it hits there, it, that will also mess it up. So these have to be a certain amount apart, but you can't really get them any closer. So. And then this is an OR gate. It's um, one of the only OR gates that will work like this. I don't know why it works like this, but it works, so I'm sticking with it. It works quite reliably, too. And then from the OR gate, you have to knot it. So you knot it again. Oh, wait a second. Apparently, you don't. Oh, wait, that's right. I knotted the OR gate, I guess. So, really, you only have to have something knotted, but something has to be knotted. And that's about it. These are just instant things I was working with. Here's the instant AND gate. It's the exact same thing, but see, this is knotted already. Well, yeah, okay, so um, XOR gate. Instant, nice, amazing, super awesome. It's, this is still on, so I'm just going to turn this off. Flip, and it's off and off. Good show. I do say so myself. Thank you for watching, everyone. And instant adding will be something soon, I hope. And bye.